This video is brought to you by Lupin. Oh hey guys, so Uniqlo C, different from Uniqlo U. Let's talk about it. So this entire Uniqlo C collection was designed by Claire Keller, different from Uniqlo U, which is Christophe Lemaire. Uniqlo C is relatively new. They did do a collection in the spring and summer, but for the ladies only. So this collection right here was a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. So these are all my Uniqlo C pickups. My favorite has to be the hooded coat and the sling bag. But before we get into that, we are going to start off with the Uniqlo coat. This is the double face coat right here. And for those of you guys that are about to ask, I'm five foot seven, 160 nine pounds ish right now on a bulk i have a slim muscular build and my typical sizing is a medium for the tops and for the bottoms anything around a size 30 waist is where i usually roll with so this coat is in a size medium and y'all know i've always recommended uniqlo's coats they are relatively affordable i've had mine for years and i still wear them to this day because coats are a timeless piece whether it's a little bit more oversized or slim fit and the brown color is no different it's very relaxed comfortable and cozy now keep in mind though this is one of the shortest coats they've come out with at least from the coats that i own i think it's perfectly fine because you get to showcase more of your pants and sneakers now i would say that this one is just a decent buy because uniqlo itself they have a different coats it's a little bit more slim fitting so it is different from this but it's made out of 90% wool and 10% cashmere this one is made of polyester some wool and you know that matters to some people and the other coat is only $70 more and you're gonna get a better quality piece however this one is a lot more relaxed fitting it's gonna fit other people's certain aesthetics and it's also not as long so just keep that in mind but yeah I do enjoy the way the fabric looks it's sort of got a heathered wool texture look so it's not just one solid color there's a bunch of different threads which makes it a a relatively brown color there's a tinge of olive and let's style both coats shall we here's a more cozy fit for running errands you can get more casual with it with some headwear and all that cozy comfortable and chill but still looks put together and now they're better quality coats remember this isn't a part of Uniqlo C I just recommend it over this one dress shirts trousers boots and of course some jewelry from Lupin more on them later up next we have the parachute pants mine is in the olive color and it's all in its name wide fit parachute pants so you get that wide voluminous fit and you're also able to cinch the ankle area if you'd like but other than that it's just a regular pair of pants i got mine in a size medium for a little bit more relaxed fitting because there are drawstrings inside so you can tie it a little bit tighter and you can hide the drawstrings as well so that's a really cool feature that i appreciate they do have a few other colors i would suggest getting black because you're going to wear that a whole lot more rather than this one this one is olive but i got this one because i wanted to try out some more monochromatic fall looks and that is exactly how i would style this so monochromatic is just styling with one color you can wear white black and gray along with it so you're gonna see me styling this with their hoodie right over there in a monochromatic fits and in this case it's obviously green but yeah i'll talk about that in a bit so just some simple white sneakers i'm wearing a white shirt underneath just for a little bit of contrast and for separation so you can break up the fit a little bit now let's try an analogous fit which are colors right next to each other on the color wheel so an analogous color to green would be blue so we have this blue jacket a white open collar shirt and some jewelry from the sponsor of today's video Lupin. So I personally believe Lupin is the best jewelry brand out there. I've been rocking them for years and there's a reason why I designed my own collection with Lupin called the Ascend Collection. I chose them for a reason. All their jewelry is handcrafted in Seoul, Korea with 925 sterling silver. That's the good stuff. We had an awesome launch party. Everybody loved the pieces and I see y'all. Y'all looking cute in the pieces. We were sold out at one point but Lupin just restocks because they were selling like hotcakes. And yeah, like I said, handcrafted in Korea. If you guys appreciate craftsmanship you guys are gonna love these pieces all the pieces are minimally designed and can go with literally any outfits any aesthetic especially with these uniqlo pieces take a look at this this is lupin with a bunch of uniqlo pieces i've collected throughout the years there isn't one piece from uniqlo that doesn't look good with a piece from lupin from their beautiful chain necklaces this one is the train wreck one to my send signa ring to the watch chain bracelets it doesn't matter what you get from lupin any of the pieces are just going to elevate your fit that much more and just make you feel confident and put together like i can't tell you how how many times I got complimented on my Ascend necklace and it's really cool to say I designed it myself and you can get this at a discount if you guys click the first link down in the description or any of the Lupin links in the description there's a special discount code there for you as well once again just head over to Lupin sites all those links are going to be down in the description and just browse around I promise you you're going to find something that you like and if you want to move forward with it you can find the discount code in the description it's one of the best ways you guys can support me as well and you won't be disappointed with pieces trust so thank you Lupin for sponsoring this video Let's check out the next piece. All right, up next, we have some of my favorite pieces. These right here 
are the sling bags. So I got two of them this year. We have the mini one and then we have the two-way sling bag right here. The mini shoulder bag is in black and the two-way shoulder bag is in gray. And these bags, fellas, I'm telling you, these are clean. Now, I do think this is pretty close to the Uniqlo Block Tech shoulder bag that was released in 2019, 2020. They're neck and neck. This bag really impresses me, especially in the gray color because it says it in the name. It's a two-way shoulder bag. So you can hold it just like a tote bag. There's handles right here. Then you get a sling right there. And just like the Block Tech shoulder bag, this is water repellent. Protect the stuff inside here because most likely this is going to be your city bag. You know, you're probably gonna keep your laptop in here, your headphones and all that. So you wanna make sure those are protected. After all, this collection is called called Spirit of a Modern City, which is perfectly fitting for this entire collection. Having a bag like these is very important. I used to live in New York City and you wanna make sure your stuff doesn't get stolen. You're gonna carry a lot of stuff, power bank, chargers, laptop, headphones, sanitizer, all that. The city's pretty gross. You don't wanna get pickpocketed and you wanna catch anything. So what's cool about this bag, you got two big front pockets right here. I usually keep a power bank in the front, some sanitizer right there. Like I said, subways are gross, man. And you can actually zip the front parts, not all the way. It's just two different flaps that seal it a little bit. Another cool feature, well, first off, a ton of pockets and inside pockets on the inside. But one of the coolest features about this is this little strap right here. This allows you to, whenever you're traveling, you put it through your luggage handlebar and it'll stay put as you're rolling it through the airport, which is a nice touch, something I really appreciate and something I always look for. I have plenty of camera bags that have that as well. So I would highly recommend this, especially if you live in a big city, an urban area, or you go to the coffee shop a lot, you do some work there. This is the perfect travel bag. Now, the mini shoulder bag, it's a much more evolved drawstring shoulder bag that they came out with a long time ago. Keep in mind that this is not zipped. It is a drawstring shoulder bag, so you're gonna pull the drawstring, it'll seal it up right there. So it's not entirely secure, but it holds itself pretty solid. You won't be able to get a laptop in here, but you can definitely get a Switch or an iPad in there. I do dig this one as well, but I think you're gonna get more value from the two-way shoulder bag. Now next up, go off frame a little bit. We have the Souffle, <laughs> the Souffle Chunky Stole, a fancy name for a scarf. This one is gray, it's nicely color blocked, and it's got that girth. I think it's 83 by 16 inches of girth, which is crazy. Definitely gonna keep you cozy for the winter time for fall. And scarves in general are just a great way to layer. A lot of people don't do it. I don't know why, it adds a lot of warmth. It'll cover your face whenever you're commuting. So your nose doesn't get, you know, you guys know what it is. Whenever you get really cold, your nose starts to hurt. Now, obviously I live in Las Vegas. I'm probably not gonna use this all too much, but when I travel, I'm definitely bringing this with me. Now up next, we have the sweat oversized pullover hoodie. So yeah, I'm gonna be honest, most of us probably don't need another hoodie, but if you are in the markets, they have solid colorways. This one is very cozy and soft, and I wouldn't say it's a crazy oversized fit. I'd say it's more just of a relaxed fit, so a little bit more loose. You get two separate pockets. The pockets don't connect, so that might be a pro, might be a con, depending on you. And this olive one is just great. It looks good, especially when you style it with an olive colored vest, which is what I always recommend. If you get a colored hoodie, I would suggest getting the same colored vest. That way you can add a little bit more texture, a little bit more depth to your fits and visual interest. And it's just a great way to switch it up. So I've styled this in a few different ways with some balloon fit, black cargoes, a cap, and the black sling bag. Simple fit, looks good. I've also styled it with the vest and that looks good as well. So plenty of ways you can style a hoodie. A hoodie is a hoodie. It's essential for fall and winter. But yeah, most of us probably don't need a new one. But if you are in the market, this hoodie is pretty solid. And finally, let me take off this coat. Finally, we have the hooded coat. This is my favorite piece of the collection. Black is what you can never go wrong with. So yeah, fellas, this one is quite warm. So inside it is quilted. Let me unzip this real quick. So as you can see, it's quilted right here. This is where a lot of the warmth comes from. It does come with an inside pocket. You can keep your stuff safe right there. And a lot of people don't know this about this jacket. You do get a cinch. So you can cinch the waist, but then it flares out towards the bottom, which is just a unique look if you guys like that. You can zip it up, you can button it. The buttons are very easy to detach. And the cool thing is you get a high neck collar right here. So this does lean more towards that functional tech wear look, but you can rock it in a more street style as well. And another thing a lot of people don't know about this jacket, there's a stowaway hoodie. So there's buttons right here underneath the hood. There's other buttons so you can stuff the hood inside there for just a different look. But I like to leave the hood out because the combination between the hood, the high neck, it just looks so good. And also, it is water repellent, which is always a great thing, especially if you live in a big city. Like I said, this whole entire collection was designed for the city. So most likely you're gonna be walking around. You're not gonna be in your heated car all the time driving around everywhere. You're probably gonna be walking 
it might precipitate. This is a solid go-to rain jacket for light precipitation and it's also going to keep you very warm. Styling wise, it is very relaxed fit. So I suggest keeping it kind of relaxed fit as well. I'm rocking balloon fit pants, a black crew neck and a colored beanie and also the sling bag. So you can use a two-way shoulder bag as a sling or as a tote. And that fit right there is what I've seen a lot when I lived in New York City when people would commute. Walking around in the cold sucks, but at least you look good, right? So this hooded coat, my favorite piece. I would highly suggest it. The black one is always a good go to they do have an olive one and an ivory one which I would say those are a little bit harder to style so if you're not comfortable with that or you just want something that you can rock a lot can never go wrong with black